This is an introduction almost to our collage module. We're going to learn techniques. We're going to learn how to do something kind of whimsical and fun. And I want you to learn that you're going to use your glue. You're going to use your imagination. You're going to use your scissors skills because this art form, I mean, you can do anything with it. You can use magazines. You can use greeting cards. You can use pictures that you've drawn and cut out yourself. Let's go find out how to have fun with this. So when we get to our collage module, we are going to be so prepared. Talked about our collage, and I did tell you that to begin with, we're gonna do something super silly. Not, not really foolish, but whimsical and fun. You'll need to start out with a heavier grade of paper. You can hear the sound of this. This is tag board. You can use a good heavy construction paper. And then this is my silly. If you look around and if you study the picture, you will see that there are many silly things in this. And it was fun, but it's also, like I said, it's flowing. It has the colors that move. I had to add a lot of little pieces in here, but it was worth it. It was hard to stop, actually. This is how you begin. I began with these, and as I said, we're not going to put these down permanently because we might need to tuck things in and out. But you need a basic background first, and then you can start adding. I have kept many, many, many pictures, if you see right here. You need to have things to choose, and you need to lay it down before you actually glue. So my next choice, and I plan this out first, is this chicken. I love this chicken. Now, the chicken going over the lily pond would not work. This is why we don't glue. We're going to slip it underneath and put it right there. It doesn't have to line up square. This is just for fun. And then, hmm, more lily pads? No. Let's put this unusual because there is no tail feather. I need to cover it up because we don't want that just showing. Let's see how we can turn it like that. All right. Before I do anything else, I'm going to take a little bit of glue and spot glue it. Let's call it spot gluing. And this way I can always go back and glue the rest on. This way it gives you a little flexibility. Now I did have this lovely young man right here that I was going to put right here. Let's put him down before I glue because I need to fill this in. Where did, here we are. I'm going to put more lily pads in here. Oh, let's put the big lily pad. See how you can slip them in when you don't glue them all the way? There we go. So I'm going to lift it up and hold it, put a little glue down, and put it. You'll have a lot of work to do afterwards. Now this is square, and I don't really like when things are cut off square. Ah, another tip. I use a colored piece of paper to put my glue on if I'm going to glue it flat. That way you will see where the glue is on there, and you won't get glue on the top. Let's slide this under, get rid of that. There you go. See, no straight lines. Love it. And I also have another very, very large piece that I'm going to put here, but I think I'll tuck it. No? Yes, because we want the mountain to go into the snowy mountains. So I will lift this, put a little glue down, and move on. If you notice, I have a piece couple pieces of green paper also. In case I need to fill areas in, I can just stick a straight color in there. Oh, I'm not sure I like that. I think I'm going to put the flowers over it. But because it's got a sharp edge, since I didn't glue it down all the way, I can take my scissors and round it out. Now these are all pre-cut pieces. I'm going to show you how to cut pieces. Now, otters are never, ever in a lily pond. So let's put the otters in there. I can glue this down. All right. The little corners are really important. And you want to line it up so that you can see that it's flat against there, not tip too much. And then let's put in, yes, the tortoise, the sea tortoise that, whoops. This is also a tool. 
let's put him over here in the corner, just coming out at you. What is the most ridiculous thing you would see? Possibly some cactus. Let's see if we can blend that in there. And then, oh, yes, the Venus flytrap. What do you think? It's starting to look good to me. A little bit of glue. Set this down. And it's good because the pinks are now starting to match up. This, and I'm actually going to show you, when you're doing something this delicate, and cutting this was a chore, a pleasant chore once it was done. You're going to start in the center and push out. You don't want to bend it, but you do want to get those very, very, very ends. See what I mean? It starts to curl. Not a problem. We can. Also, you're going to set it down in the middle and you're going to slowly unfold or unfurl or unroll all of this. There we go. Now this can be put down now because it's sticking up. I always say a little glue goes a long way and it does. Now this was really fun. I had a giant, here you go. This is what I originally wanted to use was this giant bee, but it was just too big for this. And I wanted this young climber here and I'll put him on glue. I'm going to have him climbing up the side of this bush. It's a bush now. It was a plant, but once you put it on here, it's a bush. He's looking over his shoulder. So I thought this would be the ideal place to have a bee coming down to sting him. Like I said, fun, whimsical, silly, makes kind of no sense, but it makes a lot of sense. See, that looks perfect. He's like, oh my gosh. And actually, the chicken is actually looking down. Now, I promised you, oh, two more things. What is more silly in an icy mountaintop than, whoops, here we go. The lighthouse wants to stick. You will get sticky fingers. So let's put this lighthouse up here. Try to line it up with the white. You want things to blend into each other as much as you can. So I have my little towel that I can get it wet and then dry. And actually, let's start using this to push. I'm pushing them down. And what about a whale coming out? He's run away from SeaWorld and he is now up in the mountains. Again, see the line? You want to match it up where it actually looks like it fits on there. Beautiful. What would be sillier than a cat in the sky? So this is back to the scissors skill that I taught on my video. You're going to move the paper. If you try to, I have a huge piece of glue, glue there, excuse me. And once we get around, you'll see what I mean. I'm moving the paper, the glue is the glue, the scissors, Miss Linda, it, they're just opening and closing all around. And the reason that I didn't cut everything out in front of you is because it does take time. It takes time to search for your pieces. And like I said, magazines, old books, greeting cards, catalogs, advertising, newspapers. And if you like, you could draw a picture and then cut it out. If there's something you really think would be super cool, where should we put them? Since we have a stark line like that right there, I'm going to actually, now that I have a lot of glue, I'm gonna fold my paper so that I don't get too much glue because it's already thick. One thing about glue sticks is sometimes when they get a little warm, they get a little stringy. So let's put them up here. Let's go over the white line, push them down, maybe even tip it so that he's, everybody's looking down at this poor guy. Everybody's after the man. So I showed you how to cut. And again, this is another, so we put a giant, no, because they do live in ponds. I'm going to go with some snails. I'm gonna cut the baby snail off because it's too, now notice how I'm moving my paper and just having the scissors open and close. We'll have a chorus, which means there's more than one. Cutting in between there won't be necessary because I'm going to put it somewhere that has some greenery underneath it. Oh, so silly, so silly. 
Now, I don't think I want that flat. Oh, maybe I do. All right, we're going to put it right there. Sometimes it works out so easily. So there's a process. You're going to search for your items. You're going to line them up and put them down before you glue. All right, there we go. Now they're watching the okra, right? No, I'm not sure. I think okra is a vegetable. Let's see. What else? Well, let's put, let's keep this consistent. If I have some snails there, I'll put some there. And like I was saying, you need balance and color and scale. That means the size of things. Do they work where you want to put them? Now that all of this, and you know, I had this, I kept trying to find a spot for my artichoke and it, oh, it didn't work until right now. See, never give up. I thought it would be cool coming out of the pond, but why not have it climbing the mountain? I'm going to give it a, give it a little, lift this up so it's under, so it becomes part of it. Now, once I'm done with all of this, I'll go back and I'll glue these pieces that need to go down. Chicken head needs to go down. You can bend them. There we go. Now, see the browns match up there? My little snails, these go here. And I do have a fly somewhere, but I think that the Venus flytrap should be going after the bee. It's kind of a whole circus kind of fun here going on. Okay, what other two things did I have? Oh, I did have a woman diving. That would be cool. And I do have some of these, but they're a little too small. That's what I was talking about, scale. So once you get to this point, it's just super silly. You're going to go back and take the time to glue everything down. Now, this is silly. During our collage module, we are going to do things that are specific and a little more centered. But I thought, why not start out with something really fun? So, silly, silly. And I want you to look at this and I want you to find all of the silly, goofy things. Take your time, it's fun. We're just beginning.